coral reefs. In a vast blue wilderness, they are the cities of the sea. These rich, biodiverse ecosystems are hotspots for marine life and warriors at protecting shorelines from storms. They cover 1% of the ocean floor, but they're actually home or host to about 25% of marine species. Coral reefs are also the economic driver behind many economies around the world. They provide a critical food source for millions of people. The Florida Reef Track provides over 70,000 local jobs and is estimated to be worth over $6 billion to our state economy. Well, they say there's only one Everglades, but there's also only one Florida Reef Track, and it's a really special place. Like most coral reefs around the world, the Florida Reef Tract has declined over the past few decades. Fishing pressures, pollution, development, and climate change have all left their mark. Now, a new disease may be the last nail in the coffin. They're stressed and they get disease. They're more susceptible to it. This disease is unprecedented in its scale, size, and its effect on coral reefs in the Florida Reef Tract. We're kind of up against these ticking time bombs of losing corals every day and trying to implement the best strategies that we have while simultaneously trying to develop new ideas. What is this disease? What are scientists doing to prevent the spread? And will it be enough?